When I was in middle school, we had this class called TAP. I have no idea what or why. I initially thought it was TAP dancing class. What? It was 12. TAP was the first class before all your other classes. And I don't understand why we had this class, because we weren't really learning anything. All I ever used to do was talk to this girl that was beautiful that sat next to me, more accurately, that I sat next to. So one morning at TAP class, I was doing much of the same, talking to the beautiful girl that was sitting next to me. Hey girl, how you doing girl? No, well, actually it was more like... The only game I had in middle school was Super Nintendo, but there was always one constant. I would always talk to the beautiful girl sitting next to me. What do you do in tap class? I talk to the beautiful girl sitting next to me. I know her name, I just don't want to tell you her name. But, for conversation's sake, for storytelling's sake, I will give her a name. We'll call her the beautiful girl sitting next to me. We were having one of our usual conversations, she'd be saying, Oh, you're such, you're, you're, you're such a great friend, you're so cute. And I'm gonna talk to you about all my boyfriend troubles, and we'll be in the friend zone forever. And I would respond, <laughs> Hi. When out of the blue comes this big, burly, Middle Eastern fellow, with a smile on his face, he grabs my hands, and then he tells me, ha, 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 I'm not going to let you go ha, until you say mercy. Ha, say mercy. Come on, say mercy. Ha, 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 mercy. And I look at him like, I was not having it. Not with the beautiful girl sitting next to me. Big Burley realized something. He realized even though he had me in this <laughs> mercy position that I was not going to say mercy. I was determined that he could break my fingers, I wasn't going to say mercy. Not to this big, burly... He realized that he could not hold me like that forever. That based on my reaction, there would be some sort of retaliation. So for lack of a better plan, he maintained his merciless grip, pushed me, and ran. I took off behind him, and within three steps, wielding a chair, I caught up to him. The authority figure in the room promptly grabbed my arm. As she grabbed my arm, I let go of the chair. Big and Burly got it in the back. In the back. I was spared the usual suspension for a 10 minute cool down period outside the class to stand and think about what I did or what may have been. I don't recall what happened to Big and Burly, but after my 10 minute cool down period, I promptly went back to my seat and sat down next to the beautiful girl that sat next to me.